Aloha! Welcome to Limits Made Easy. Today I will be discussing how to solve a limit. The three ways to solve are numerically, graphically, and analytically. We will be explaining how to do the graphs through the, this presentation, so that's how we will be solving limits verbally. Hold on. Calculus is thirsty work. So let's begin with the fun! Wait! Harvey, are you ready? Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> Solving numerically, you're given this problem. You plug zero, C in for X into your calculator, and you get... And as you see by this, the limit is approaching negative one. <laughs> now we're going to solve graphically. So we're going to use the same limit that Megan just used to solve numerically, but this time we use our calculator. Look, it's Harvey! Anyway, so what you do is you plug in this limit that we have into your y equals plot. And once you have the equation, you press graph. And as you can see, we get two asymptotes. And when you look at the graph, they are approaching negative one, which is indeed the limit of this equation. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to solve a problem analytically. You plug in three for t. And you get zero over zero. What does that mean? Algebra! Wait, we don't want red to feel left out here. So the limit equals six. Thank you for watching our educational video about limits. And thank you, Mr. S, for your calculus wisdom. But now we've reached our limit.